Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we have something that looks very similar to what we've seen before. The difference is that the x and the a have been interchanged. So instead of having dx divided by a squared minus x squared, we now have dx divided by x squared minus a squared. The technique remains the same. Since we have the difference of squares, we can actually use that technique called partial fractions. Let's go ahead and do that and see what the result of that ends up to be. So we can say that 1 over x squared minus a squared can be written as 1 over x minus a times x plus a, which is equal to the sum of the two fractions, a divided by x minus a plus b divided by x plus a. And again, this can be a over x plus a and b over x minus a, doesn't matter, you'll get the same result. So now when we multiply, if we ignore this for a moment, and we just multiply both sides here, the left side by x minus a times x plus a, and the right side by x minus a times x plus a, we end up with the following. We get 1 is equal to a times x plus a, since the x minus a cancels out, plus b times x minus a, since x plus a cancels out. And now we take a look at the, the uh, equation here, on the left side, we have a constant 1, which must be equal to a times a plus b times the negative a. So we can say that 1 equals big A times a minus big B times a. And since there's no x on the left side, we can say that 0 is equal to a plus b, because we have ax plus bx on the right side, so a plus b must equal 0, which means that a must equal negative b. So in this case, one is the negative of the other. When we plug that in here, so b becomes a negative a, so we get one is equal to a a plus another a a, which means that a is equal to one over two a. And so we can now substitute, since a is equal to one over two a, and b is negative of that, so we have b is equal to negative one over two a. And we can then substitute that in here to rewrite that as a new integral. So we have the integral of a over x minus a, which is 1 over 2a over x minus a, plus 1 over, that would be a negative 1 over 2a times an x plus a. And the whole thing times dx, because we still have to have our dx. So now what we've done is we've written our integral as the sum of two fractions. We have a over x minus a plus b over x minus a, where a is equal to 1 over 2a and b is negative 1 over 2a. Now we can factor out the 1 over 2a, and this can now be written as the integral. Oof, I need to factor out 1 over 2a. So now we have 1 over x minus a minus 1 over x plus a times dx, and those are easy integrals to integrate. This simply becomes the natural log of each, so this becomes equal to 1 over 2a times 1 over, oop, not 1 over, I have to take the integral here, so that becomes the natural log of x minus a minus the natural log of x plus a, and we have a constant of integration. And again, the rule is that we have the natural log of a minus the natural log of b. That's simply the natural log of a over b. So we can write this as 1 over 2a times the natural log of x minus a over x plus a and a constant of integration. So this here is the result of this integral. Notice, since we have reversed order these compared to what we saw in the previous videos, it simply reversed the order of the numerator and the denominator here, and everything else is the same. And that's how it's done.